Question eight, and this is an applied trigonometry question. So it says the depth of water d meters in a harbour on a particular day is modelled by that formula there. Five plus two sine 30, where t can be naught to 24, where t is the number of hours after midnight. So t equals naught would be midnight, t equals one would be 1 a.m., t equals five would be 5 a.m. So it says a boat enters the harbour at 6.30 a.m. and takes two hours to load its cargo. So just make a quick note here. I don't know whether it's going to be relevant or not, but as I'm reading this, I just want to annotate my question t equals 6.5 there. The boat requires the depth of water to be at least 3.8 metres before it can leave the harbour. Find the depth of water in the harbour when the boat enters the harbour. Ah, so this, this uh, that I wrote here was actually useful because that's the time when the boat enters the harbour. So part A, we're going to let T equal 6.5, and that's going to give us the depth when it enters the harbour, which means that D equals 5 plus 2 lots of sine 30 times 6.5 equals, and let's put that in the calculator, making sure our calculator is in degrees mode. I can see mine's in radians because the little box here has an R in it. So I want to put that in degrees mode. So shift then set up angle unit degrees. There we go. So it's 5 plus 2 sine of 30 times 6.5, which is equal to 4.4824. So... 4.4824 metres. So we want to round that a little bit. No need to, but if we want to round it, I would suggest three or four significant figures. So let's leave it as 4.482 metres. Part B. Find to the nearest minute, the earliest time the boat can leave the harbour. Right, so it takes two hours to load its cargo, so the boat requires the depth of water to be at least 3.8 metres before it can leave the harbour. So we want 5.5 5 plus 2 sine 30t to be greater than 3.8. So let's rearrange this. So we're going to solve it, not for greater than for now, let's solve it for the equal to version. So take away 5, I get 2 sine of 30t equals and uh, 3.8, take 5 as 1.2, negative 1.2 rather, which means that sine of 30t equals... Dividing by 2, negative 0.6. So now find the solutions to that equation. So if we arc sine both sides. So the arc sine of minus 0.6 equals minus 36.86. So 30t equals minus 36.86. So if I go back up to the question, notice I've solved this for 30t, but actually the limits are in terms of t, so we need to change those limits to be 30t. So if I times all of these by 30, I get 0, less than or equal to 30t, less than, then 24 times 30. So the valid solutions are in a domain um, 0 to 720. Okay, so I've got minus 36.86 as a solution. So let's draw the graph to find other valid solutions. So I want the sine curve from 0 to 720. So that's two cycles. That's 360 there. And there's 720 there. And we wanted when we were finding the arc sine of minus 0 0.6. So it's anything along this dotted line here, roughly minus 0 0.6, we'll say is that. So minus 0 0.6. Minus 0 0.6. Okay. So, that angle there 
is minus 36.86. So someone standing at the start of the graph at the origin would have to walk 36.86 to the left to get the solution. So someone standing at the corresponding point, other side of this hill here, would have to walk the same. Likewise, someone standing this side of the hill would also have to work, walk 36.86 here and here. All having to walk 36.86. This one here has to walk 36.86 to get there, there, and we've already got that solution there. Right, so 180 plus 36.86 equals... 216.86 so 30t equals that 30t equals and that was 216.86 then there's 360 take 36.86 is another solution equals 323.14 and it really would have been easier had I have labelled all the key points on the graph. So I really should go back and do that now. 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540, 630 and 720. So the next one is 540 plus 36.86. 40 plus 36.86. 576.86 and then the final one 720 take 36.86 720 take 36.86 equals 683.14 6, dividing each of these by 30 that gets the time when the tide is 3.8 meters so 216.86 divided by 30, 7.23, or we'll go with two, we'll go with four significant figures for now, 229. So that corresponds to this solution here. We can see that's when the tide's going down. So from here, down to here, then back up again. The boat can't go out then. So we can see that the boat is going to be able to get out of the next solution, which is there. So 323.14 divided by 30 is 10.771, which is our solution. But we we'll actually need to put it in time format now. So T equals 10. Then take the non-integer part, 0 0.771 times 60 gives us the minutes. So 10.46 is the time that the boat can leave the harbour. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.